Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is week three of the Halloween collaboration hosted by Mandy here on Mandy's Place on YouTube. I'm posting this video early because while we are not in the path of Hurricane Florence, we are expected to get a lot of rain with possible flooding and possible power outages. So I wanted to be sure and get this video up in case I wasn't able to post on Saturday. Uh, as I had mentioned last week, there are a lot of talented ladies involved in this collaboration and they have some really fantastic things so be sure to check them all out. I will leave all of their links in the description box below. This week I was inspired by Rosa from Rosa's Creative Way here on YouTube to make this mini candy whoops this mini candy rosette embellishment. She has a larger version but I made a mini one using items that I had on hand. So the first thing I did was I made a template for the uh, bottom of the rosette, or candy, I'm sorry, um, using a two inch scallop punch. And to make my template, all I did was I uh, counted three scallops here, cut on the diagonal, cut, counted three scallops on the bottom, cut on the diagonal, and then rounded the sides to get this shape here. So you can see how that matches up, like, oh, like that, and how I cut here and then rounded the sides. I then take, took my template, traced it on some black glitter paper to come up with the bottom of my candy. Uh, because the sides were white, I went ahead and used a black marker to trace around the sides make it all black. Then I made, I cut out a uh, one inch circle with my punch to put on the base here for my rosette. To make the rosette, it's a mini rosette, and I took two pieces of paper that measured two and a quarter by a uh, half inch, scored it every quarter inch, went ahead and uh, folded those up well, as you normally would, glued them together, and then the best way I found to do this was to kind of squish everything together in the middle and then push, and you get your little rosette shape. And then, of course, you just hot glue like you would a normal rosette, and I glued that right on top of my one inch circle punch. Then, on top of the rosette, I used the smallest circle in my circle dies to cut a piece of green paper. I stamped on that with a little flourish stamp that I have, and I used um, Melon Ice by Catherine Pooler Designs as the ink color, and then put on some black bling and used some orange embroidery floss on the sides for the ties. And that's it. There you have it a mini rosette candy embellishment. Thanks for watching. Bye.